On Monday, the Legal Education Society unveiled the results of its monitoring project financed by OSC Ibaki Office and investigating the consideration of appeals during the 2010 parliamentary elections and the compliance of the appeal process with national and international standards. The chairman of the society, Ndukam Aliyev, said that hundreds of documents on 50 cases were studied and the appeals divided into three groups. Refusal to register parliamentary candidates, the cancellation of candidates' registration, and violations during the pre-election campaign and on the day of voting. A number of candidates were denied registration on the basis of subjective decisions by expert groups consisting of employees from the State Statistics Committee, police offices, housing management office, and from other state agencies. Appeals on the announcement of registration were formally heard by the courts and election commissions. The registration of Bible, a bill of the classic popular Front party was cancelled for allegedly launching election campaign ahead of time. Approximately 120 to 130 cases concerning the 2000 parliamentary elections, as well as the case of human rights defender Vidal Iskandar, have been sent to the European Court of Human Rights. Law and Development NGO leader Harvey Sassano says that the extent of voting fraud is a sign of a dangerous trend. Vidal Iskandar was punished exactly for unveiling this fraud and for demanding defense of his rights, and he was blamed for stealing voting ballots, Hassano said. The discussions of NGO leaders and activists held that the decisions of the European Court of Human Rights are not fulfilled completely because the government of Azerbaijan simply pays compensation to the victim instead of addressing the causes of the complaints. For example, the leader of the Democratic Party, Saida Jalalud, noted that he was paid compensation for the torture he faced during the 2003 arrest. It was noted that the international bodies also do not analyze the underlying reasons behind the legal violations rather judging solely based on the facts of the case. Members of this study said that in recent years the deterioration of election registration, reduction of the election campaign period, and dismissal of candidates' complaints are leading to a decrease in government transparency and rule of law. At the end of the discussions, it was recommended to improve the procedures for consideration of complaints and election laws.